and welcome back to the channel. I am your loving host, Fly Daily. Uh, as you've seen, I've taken two weeks off, and the first one was playing, and the second one was it wasn't. The first one we took uh, or I took off to spend time with uh, the family and getting stuff ready for the little new one that is almost here. I think Laura, what's end of February, March. January, February, March, April, like pretty much two months, fellas. Two months. Wish me absolute luck. And the second week I was off, um, I got sick and I was fine after like three days. But then when I tried to record, my voice would go dry and hoarse. No, not hoarse. It would just dry and I would start having a coughing fit. So I just decided just to let um, everything go back to normal and start recording when I'm a hundred percent and to start things back off with the bang we're going to be playing an aircraft that I have never heard of before until Iron made some vlogs about almost buying one and then something fell through and it was a fake but nonetheless it, it it's piqued my interest about this rocket design and this user-made uh model is by polaska and uh we are sorry brain's not working we are working on something very i'll give you two hints flares and angels that might be a little bit too easy but that will be soon tm but this is the BA-349 Natter. I want to say Natter. Let me just double make sure. Yeah, Natter. Uh, you can download it and play it for yourself. But this is the BA-349 Natter. And what this was, was a... It, it was pretty much like a human-guided SAM. It's smaller than the 163, smaller than the 162. And what would happen is that these things took off vertically. Um, what is not modeled in, because I don't think at the time Palaska uh, was able to do it, but uh, solid rocket boosters were fitted to the Natter and it would launch vertically up. And then once those were spent, then the primary rocket engine would work, excuse me about that, and take it up to altitude quicker than any other conventional aircraft could at the time, and pretty much shoot down bombers. Now, when I mean shoot, it doesn't have any guns, but it has 24 aerial or air-to-air -air rockets that are pretty much impact. And once it got done climbing to about 4,000 meters, the fuel would have run out and it would start gliding. And pretty much what it would do is just line up behind the huge bomber formation. And uh, now I'm sure he's maneuvering a little bit, hoping that he might get a hit. And then... He would glide away, level off at lower altitude, and then the pilot would just pretty much press a button, and the whole aircraft would disintegrate. It, it would disintegrate nicely. Just bear with me here. Oh, I can't rotate the camera in this view. No problem. We'll just turn off the engine so it's not so loud. The canopy would flip open. The wind, he would pull, he would pull a lever or a lever it would flip open then something else he did explosive bolts blew off the front nose section after that point the aircraft was very unstable and the pilot was tossed from it now i don't know if this is like a hundred percent this is this is roughly what happens it would be tossed from the aircraft because the aircraft is completely not an aircraft really anymore or aerodynamic and as the pilot's gone, woo, he pulls his parachute if he's not knocked or sliced open, right? Then at this point, no, it all, it all happens so fast. The nose cone's falling off, and that pulls out drag chutes and parachutes and saves the most expensive part of this whole vehicle, which is the, the Walter rocket engine right there. And then they would just have some unskilled labor glue together 
a big model aircraft and strap on another rocket assembly in the front? Correct me if I'm wrong. Do they save the rocket motor or the, the rocket nose or does that just get pummeled into the ground? Now, the really nice thing about this is that the pilots didn't have to worry about landing. And that was a big issue with the 163. A lot of issues with that. At the same time, I don't know if I would have wanted to be ejected from the aircraft when there's stabilizers and elevators and stuff like that. I, I, it just shows you how desperate Germany was late war. And it, it, it is, at the time, it is ingenious. But it just, it's one of those things that can work, but doesn't work often. It's just like, what kind of pilot is going to be able to shoot these rockets in a shotgun pattern and get them to hit where they want to go? But maybe if there was a hundred of them with 25 rockets each. And it's not like this was a prototype or anything. Like, there there were many in operational service. I think, like, many as in, like, three. And they had launch pads. They had vertical launch pads for these, but no bombers flew over them for them to be activated. And do I, do I dare say this, ladies and gentlemen, but this could actually... This has a place in War Thunder. I'm sorry to say, but it does. Now, is it needed? Absolutely not, but like how, how, how many other things have been added that we don't need that are fun to play with? This is like the Storm Tiger for the air. You know, not much, well, not much ammo, and uh, it's hard to aim, and when you miss, uh, you, uh, you, ha you have a long reload. If we miss too many times with this, we only have 24 times, which isn't that bad, to uh, go uh, bomber hunting. We, we have to go back to base. Now, the reason why I, w I wouldn't want to see this in the game is because this thing would play at a lower battle rating just because it's not going to be that effective at killing bombers, or excuse me, fighters. So, bombers are just going to get shafted again. Like, when I say it has a place, like, it, it will work in War Thunder, but it's just going to be at the expense of these, R, these RP pinatas. Now, we have, we have a little... So, just for the record, I don't want this added into the game. But I would love for it to be added into the game. <laughs> but, for the sake of my... Uh, my poor bomber pilots, I, I, I can't condone it. Now, I wonder what the best approach is, because we do have a mission to fly this out in. Because this is kind of easy for my for my brain to compute. Like, right? Oh, we locked up right there. So we probably want to come in lower power. I'm going to do a head-on. And we have no flaps and no air brakes, and our elevators are pretty revolutionary. They work like, uh, it's like, it's like a tandem thing, like elevators and, you know what, we'll just leave that there. All right. I have a feeling that the AI gunners, like, if they could have RB matches, like Air RB, where bombers, like player bombers could go into bomber formations that are AI, that would be an interesting thing, you know? Is this so they have some protection? That, that, that's a lot to ask for. Especially when War Thunder has new challengers and tanks coming out. New twin engine. Whoa! Oh, cool! Okay, cool! Pulaska, you've outdone yourself. Okay, we are vertically launching. We have scrambled, scramble, 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 destroy the American bombers. Here we go again. I, I, I wasn't ready for that. We. We. Uh oh. Oh, there. We actually launched. Okay, where are our teammates? D8. I do not have a big map here. 
I'm gonna follow, where's eight? Okay, eight's this way. A, B, C, D, E. Okay, we're over here. Guys, we are a very smart posse. Ooh, you know what? This thing should be able just to keep going up. Let's see where we're at. Ooh. Look, guys. Wood. And nails. Come on. There goes the stall. Not enough power in the Walter engine. Okay, we're at we're at good altitude here. Let's pitch down. I believe these might be the bombers here. Oh, there there's some coming in really hot. Left side too. Okay, we're gonna go after these guys. No, these are the fighters. What are these guys? P51s. Okay, let's stay away from them. Our other natters over there. D8, D8. Okay. Let's go left. It should be a giant formation. What are those? P51s. Stand clear. We're gonna buzz them though a little bit here. Woo hoo 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 hoo. Insert some cheesy red tails quote. Okay, we're heading to D8. Spot it, spot it, spot it. Looks like we got two formations of B-17s. Or maybe just one. Yeah, it looks like they're, I don't know. Are they turning in? I cannot tell what they're doing right now. They are turning a soft right. Okay, head, head on approach as a go. These guys are early on the turn. I'm going to go for the bigger formation. Oh, no. Are they interdicting right now? Okay, here we go. <laughs> I'm just going to... I'm going to get deleted here. Uh, oh, yeah! Two down! Two down. That is not bad. That is not bad for an aircraft. That is made with nails, glues, and a a pilot who uh, has uh, who has more testosterone than I think all of us combined. Okay, good run. We gotta wait for ours. Ours. That's a new word. Ours. Ours. Ours rockets to reload. All right, round two. Let's actually maybe go for like a shotgun attempt. So hopefully he won't blow me up here. All right. I don't know that. Wow, okay, that one, one actually worked. I mean, it wasn't, it, it, it's not out of the realm of plausible. Like, if you had 10 of these scrambling, a B-17 would probably go down. We're just going to see if we can gank one of these guys and then go for a reload again. Oh, camera, camera, help me, help me, help me, camera. Yes, camera, yes, camera, yes, camera. Oh, too much. We'll go for our reload. Like, it's probably just so hard to even spot one of these guys, too. Like, they probably just look like they don't even... How do you see one of these guys? I mean, now, yes, but, like, the first engagement... All right, come on. Oh, gosh. Boom, boom, beautiful. Boom, yep, yep. Don't blow me up. I'm just going to land on one of them. Because any more shots, I'm going to blow up.
Right here, this is looking good. Wonder how slow I have to get. A lot slower than this. I don't need that, whatever it was. Come on, let me land on you. Go, go. No! So close! If you guys are interested in reading more about this, this vehicle, the BA349 Natter, a link to the Wikipedia in another source will be in the description below. I hope you guys have enjoyed. Let me know what you guys want to see next on the channel. I'm here. I'm, I'm open for um, ideas for tomorrow or this week's video. Also, look forward. We're going to be doing a new face cam Friday or FUPA. And so we're going to continue that series. Thank you so much for hanging out today. We'll see you guys tomorrow. I've been your host, Floppy Woppy. Be good. Be kind. Peace out.